today we're going to go over the steps of lanolizing your uh, woolies so you can use them for overnight cloth diapering or anytime cloth diapering, but they work really well with a fitted pair uh, for overnight. Uh, first, you'll gather your um, ingredients. What you'll need to wash is a uh, wool wash. You can There's a few different kinds. You can use a liquid wool wash like the Eucalyn or a wool wash bar. Um, since today I'll be using one hand to wash, I will use the liquid wool wash since I can't really scrub. I like to use a warm water, um, not too hot, not too cool, and pour your wool wash just right in there. The ukulele actually says that you don't have to rinse, but I always do just to make sure. I usually let this uh, swish around and let these soak for about 15 minutes. You actually don't need to let them soak. But um, that's just a personal preference I just do. So after you, we're going to pretend that we've let these soak just for the video so it doesn't last too long. You can do this in a bowl or straight in your sink. Some people don't like to do straight in their sink, but I don't really mind. Um, so let's let that sit for just a few minutes. To prepare your lanolizing solution, you can use different types of lanolin. I have two here. This is the lanolin like you buy in the in any store, really. And then I have some lanolin here from Three Heavy Trees. She just happens to make some of my favorite oilies, and I like her lanolin. I have um, microwaved a bowl of water. This is the same bowl I always use, so it's got a little lanolin already in it. Um, and I simply take a little scoop of that lanolin. Sorry, can't really do that while I'm holding the camera. And I'm going to just swish around in my warm rot water. It helps the lanolin dissolve if your water is pretty warm. And you're just going to let that warm up and dissolve. You see it's breaking apart really nicely. Okay, we're going to pretend like we've let these soak for a little bit. I'm going to let my water out. Squeeze the water out of my longies. You can rinse if you want. If you don't want to, you can skip that step. It's up to you. You don't have to squeeze it out too much because you're getting ready to put it straight into water again. Now, I do do the lanolizing in a bowl simply because I don't want my sink to be all sticky because the lanolin tends to make your sink sticky. I'm going to take my bowl, dump my warm water right in there with lukewarm water. You don't want to use too hot again, too cold. And I'm going to let these soak for about, you can do anything. You can, you can let them soak for five minutes. You can let them soak for an hour. It doesn't really affect. I usually do about 30 minutes. I just leave them, go do something else, grab them out. Once you're done uh, lanolizing, you'll squeeze the water out, whichever method you choose. Uh, you might squeeze with a towel or just, I just squeeze with my hands and lay flat to dry. It usually takes quite a long time to dry um, unless you put outside. I like to put them on my drying rack outside and it works great. And there you see we lanolized in under two minutes. Super easy. And you don't have to do it all the time. Maybe if you use them every night, maybe lanolize every, wash and lanolize every three weeks or so. So it's a super simple, easy project that you can do and um, makes overnight cloth doffering a lot easier and no leaks. 